Welcome to the Navigating Biodata Catalyst video series. Videos in this series span topics across the study and data life cycles. This video will discuss how to set up the command line interface for Biodata Catalyst powered by Seven Bridges. After watching this tutorial, you'll understand how to set up and configure the Seven Bridges command line interface to programmatically interact with the Biodata Catalyst ecosystem. To better understand the material in this video, we recommend that users be familiar with how to access the Biodata Catalyst ecosystem with their own account. To follow along with this video, users will need to have access to a Linux or Mac OS terminal and the wget command installed. If you don't have wget installed, check the video description for instructions to do so. Please note that administrator or sudo access is not required to complete the setup. Seven Bridges has provided a command line interface or CLI tool to programmatically access and automate your interaction with the Biodata Catalyst ecosystem. The CLI enables users to perform many platform operations, including data upload, file tagging, and adding metadata. To install the CLI, open a Linux or Mac OS terminal and navigate to the directory where you want to install the interface. In this example, the CLI will be installed in a new subdirectory of the home directory called MyProgs. You will first need to determine which installation file is appropriate for your environment. This is accomplished by downloading and running a helper script. This script can be downloaded by issuing the command shown here. Run the script by issuing the command sh space get underscore architecture dot sh. The script will examine your system architecture and report the URL for the installer that is appropriate for your environment. You can now download the recommended CLI using the wget command and the provided URL. After the CLI has downloaded, you'll need to make it executable by issuing the command chmod space plus x space sb. The CLI is now installed and ready for use. You can issue commands from the CLI by navigating to the directory and issuing the command dot slash sb, which brings up the standard usage statement for the tool. Alternatively, you can issue commands from any directory by providing the full path to the executable file. In this example, the CLI was installed in my home directory in a subdirectory called myprogs. So, to issue a command to the CLI, I would use tilde slash myprogs slash sb. Before you can use the CLI to interact with BDC, you must configure the CLI client to authenticate with the platform. After navigating to the directory where you installed the CLI client, begin by entering dot slash sb space configure and pressing enter. A prompt will appear asking for the Seven Bridges API endpoint and listing the default address. Ensure that the API endpoint is api.sb.biodatacatalyst.nhlbi.nih.gov slash v2 by accepting the default when appropriate, or paste the address followed by pressing enter. A second prompt will appear requesting your Seven Bridges authorization token. This account-specific token uniquely identifies you and provides your encoded account credentials to the CLI client for use when issuing commands. You can find your account-specific authentication token by logging in to the BDC 7 Bridges web interface. Authorize BDC 7 Bridges to manage your access to controlled data. On the top navigation bar, select Developer and select Authentication Token from the drop-down options. Your authentication token is displayed here and can be copied using the Copy button to the right of the token. Returning to the terminal, right-click within the terminal window and select Paste. A third and final prompt will ask if you want advance access. Update the value to True and press Enter. The configuration step is now complete. 
To verify that you've correctly configured the CLI and can access the system, issue the command dot slash sb space projects space list. This command will return a list of projects that the authenticated user has access to. Please note that authentication tokens expire 120 days after they were issued. If your token is expired, you'll need to repeat this configuration process using your new token. A new token can be generated from the web interface by clicking the three dots to the right of the token display and selecting Regenerate. You'll notice that the expiration and last used dates are updated to reflect the new token. Copy the new token and supply it on the command line as previously demonstrated. This concludes the tutorial on setting up a BDC account. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. You should now know how to set up and configure the command line interface for BDC. For further support, please review the guidance documentation linked in the video description below. For more information about navigating BDC, please consider watching other tutorials in this series accessible on the BDC YouTube channel. For additional assistance, please submit a ticket to the BDC Help Desk at biodatacatalyst.nhlbi.nih.gov contact.